What's up guys, Adam at Time Warp Custom Paint here. In this video, I will show you a bulletproof way to prep and prime your bare metal motorcycle parts. I will also show you the difference between epoxy primer and primer surfacer. And we'll be fixing some damage with a light coat of body filler. Let's get started. I just picked up this motorcycle fender from the Sandblaster, which revealed a little bit of body damage. I'm going to use a body hammer and dolly to help smooth out the area. By placing the dolly directly underneath the damaged area and hammering around the outsides of the dent, you can get the surface level enough for a light coat of body filler to do the rest. Sometimes damage will stretch out the metal. In this instance, you can apply a little bit of heat with a torch and cool immediately with a cold rag to shrink back the metal. Before we spray any kind of paint, we wanna make sure that the surface is completely clean of all contaminants. I'm gonna use some Limeline wax and grease remover along with a clean rag to remove any barnacles that can affect our paint job. Next, I'm gonna use some good old glass cleaner to rid of any waterborne contaminants. Limeline epoxy primer consists of two components that are mixed evenly together to create a chemical bond. Epoxy primer offers excellent adhesion to various substrates, including metal, fiberglass, and plastic. It offers good chemical resistance against fuels, oils, and solvents. It also helps silt the metal and prevent rust and corrosion. All in all, epoxy primers create a strong and durable bond in better paint adhesion and reduce the risk of peeling and chipping down the road. Epoxy primer also works great for body panels, chassis, and engine components. All right, I'm gonna hook up this mixture to my 1.4 spray gun and spray two to three coats to both top and bottom end of this fender. Let your primer coats dry properly by allowing 10 to 15 minutes between coats at 70 degrees. All right, this thing looks great, all sealed up with epoxy primer. After 12 hours dry time, we're able to scuff down the surface for the next layers of paint. All two component products once dry require a mechanical adhesion that is created by sanding the surface so the next layers of paint have a tooth, if you will, to bite to in order to stick to the surface. All right, I'm gonna clean up the residue with some glass cleaner and move on to mixing up some body filler. Body filler, also known as Bondo, is also a two component system. Most body fillers are mixed at a 50 to one ratio, but you'll wanna follow the manufacturer's direction on that. Make sure you mixed both components together thoroughly before applying to the surface. All right, after about 15 minutes or so, the body filler should be dry and ready to sand. Next, I'm gonna apply a sprayable guide coat so we can see the low spots when sanding. I'm going to use 180 grit sandpaper and a Limeline flexible hard block to sand down the filler. I like to sand in an X style pattern to prevent any over sanding in areas. Before sanding too much in the center, it's best to get your edges smoothed out first. If you didn't get all the damage covered, this is where you would apply additional coats. Limeline High Build Primer Surfacer is also a two component setup, but it's mixed out at a four to one ratio. Primer Surfacer has excellent filling properties, allowing it to fill in minor imperfections, scratches, and small dents on the surface. Although not to the ability of epoxy primer, most primer surfacers provide excellent adhesion to metal, plastic, fiberglass, and other substrates. Once again, I'm gonna hook up the same 1.4 spray gun and spray out two to four coats with an approximate 10 to 15 minute wait time in between coats. 
After 12 hours at 70 degrees, the primer will be ready to sand and you're ready to apply your first layer of base color. Be sure to check out Limeline Custom Paint Products and if you need more custom paint tips, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.